At that point, I felt like TSA should just remove scissors as a carry-on allowed item because these were the third type of scissors confiscated from me. Apparently, they didn't make the cut. Hey guys, I'm Crystal Amanda, and in today's video, I will be sharing things that should be allowed in carry-on luggage, but airport security will still confiscate them. And this is based on my personal experience during several trips between last year and this year, and whether departing from or returning to the United States. But keep in mind that all of these items are allowed in check luggage. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first one up is three inch blade scissors. Per the TSA.gov website, the scissors rule for carry-on bags is that the blades must be less than four inches from the pivot point. These are your basic discount store craft scissors and were confiscated from me when departing from Mexico. As you can see, the blades are under four inches long, so they should have been allowed. Apparently, they didn't make the cut. Moving on, the second item that airport security confiscated from my carry-on were my snipper scissors. Even though these have about two inch blades, I can understand why these could get confiscated because of the open end pointy sharp blades that can easily be used as a weapon. And these were confiscated when I departed from the United States. So definitely don't pack snipper scissors in your carry on. Next up is yet again, more scissors. This time they were my one and a half inch blade trimming scissors. At that point, I felt like TSA should just remove scissors as a carry on allowed item because these were the third type of scissors confiscated from me. Like, I don't like that. Like, I don't like it. So a solution to my scissors issue is to travel with specific TSA compliant scissors. These are compact and foldable with about two inch blades. And I'll link these in my description if you're interested. The next carry on allowed item that airport security confiscated from me was a bottle of travel size liquid Pepto-Bismol. They didn't care that it met the 3.4 ounce liquid rule and unopened. It was sealed in everything. They did not allow it. It was all a lie. And this was confiscated when I departed Mexico. My solution after that was to travel with travel size Pepto-Bismol chewables or Tums. The fifth item that airport security confiscated from my carry-on was travel size aerosol mosquito repellent. Honestly, this one confused me because I traveled with this on multiple trips and didn't have any issues, whether departing from or returning to the United States. I even asked the TSA agent if this was a new rule and she said no. And she was right because it's listed on the TSA website. And this was confiscated from me when departing from the United States. So a solution for this is instead of an aerosol, travel with bug repellent in a normal spray dispenser. This is the brand that I use, the Ranger Ready Bug Repellent Spray, and I'll also link it in my description. And if you're not a fan of bug repellent sprays, you can search for repellent wipes, balm, and wristbands as other options. So always keep in mind that some items can make it out of the country, but may not make it back in. Again, remember that all of these items that were confiscated from my carry-on are allowed in check luggage. So if you're checking in luggage with any of these items, you should be fine. Also, if you ever travel with a carry-on luggage or carry-on bag, let me know if airport security ever confiscated things from it that was supposed to be allowed. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys!